What's happening, YouTube? Happy Monday, and I hope your week is off to a fantastic start. Once again, my name is Keith McElwain, and welcome back to Monday in the Millions. As always, I'm going to put the annotations across the bottom right here, so if you want to go ahead and jump to that story, go ahead and click to get started. Otherwise, I want to start talking about the comments from last week. And so in my last video, we spoke about the presidential candidates for 2012, Mitt Romney and Barack Obama, and how they have two different plans on how they're going to spend money, but we were looking at how they're going to start to increase revenue for the United States. $4.1 billion a day, our debt is growing, and we have no idea, no plans on how we're gonna to start to increase this revenue. So what our suggestion was, was let's invest in passive income technology, a one-time investment in a piece of technology like a solar panel that all you have to do is have a human create it, and we have the materials, and we have a one-time financial setup, and then after that, it sits there. It absorbs power from the sun and it turns it into money. And we had some amazingly epic comments. A shout out to Neo Dark Ark and talking about how passive income is the best way to make money and how rock stars and sports icons across the world have been using this as their main way to develop their wealth. Also an amazing comment from Doug246 talking about how passive income technology is not only the way for sustainability for our environment, but also the cornerstone of our sustainability for our economy into the future. And we saw some hilariously trolling comments as well, but there's no reason to give them the spotlight. Although I did receive one constructive concern from Luke Siglios, who mentioned that his one flaw, that the one flaw he saw in the plan was that solar and wind energy were horribly inefficient. So what I did was I dove in and I took a look at Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla Motors, the largest electric car company in the world, and the founder of Solar City, one of the biggest solar panel companies in the world as well. And I took a look at his finances. He is one of the fastest growing billionaires in the Forbes 400 who actually grew his net worth from $2 billion to $2.4 billion in the last seven months. We saw a 20% increase in his net worth. These are the types of returns that get me excited about spending money on passive income technology products. But Luke may be right. If Elon Musk had his solar panels on the planet like we found earlier today that has four suns rotating around it with 24 hours of sunlight on the surface of the earth at all times, then we would see multiples of that return on investment. But we're gonna have to deal with the one sun on this earth for now. Which brings us to our next point. The overwhelming theme of most of the comments from the last video is that we cannot depend on the government. It's gonna be we the people that need to create the change that we wanna see in the environment and the economy. And that's why I love the concept of crowdfunding. Now this is a concept that's been embraced by websites like kickstarter.com and indiegogo.com that allows people that have an idea and a project that's a passion they can put it online, they upload it, and they have the ability to share it with all their friends through the social media. And it gives the friends and the community an opportunity to donate as little as $1 to the cause. And so the big advantage comes that you don't have to go to a venture capitalist firm or you don't have to go to angel investors and have these rich, the 1% of the people, say yay or nay on your project. And you can basically put it online and have the community decide. And what I like most about crowdfunding is that there is no project too small or too big to put on the site. But if we look at one of the most successful projects on Kickstarter, there was a company that was looking to create a new type of video console. They were looking to raise $950,000 in a 60 day period. And what happened was 63,000 people got involved, gave money to the project, and ended up raising $8.5 million, almost 10 times what they were looking to raise through the project. And what's crazy about this is if you ever tried to raise money for a business before or an idea, it could take you years to get in touch with people. And to raise over $8 million takes a lot of talking to people. And what happens is if you're looking to raise that type of money, you have venture capitalist investors who want to get involved. They're going to ask for a lot of control and start to manipulate pieces of the puzzle and maybe your dream starts to change from what it was to what they think it should be, which means you start to lose your creative control. The beauty about crowdfunding is you connect with your community, your audience who believes in your vision. They get behind you and they make what you want to have happen a reality. And as an avid investor, I'm a firm believer in keeping the creativity in the hands of the visionaries behind these passion projects. So every week, I'm gonna be introducing you to exciting people and investment opportunities that we all should support. And this week, I wanna introduce you to David Lawrence from the Urban Tree Connection. His project is in Philadelphia where he's looking to transform what they call food deserts, which are areas that have no convenient access to healthy, fresh food. He wants to transform this into community gardens that allow people to farm and gain easy access to healthy raw food. And he's doing this by creating high tunnel, lightweight greenhouses 
which are basically just cost-effective alternatives to the permanent greenhouse structures you see popping up on roofs across the United States. We're putting people to work, we're feeding the hungry, and we're producing high-quality food that's going to be fighting disease in the Philadelphia area. Go ahead and click the link to invest as little as $10 to make this project a success. And go ahead and leave a comment below with people and projects that you want to see featured next Monday so we can take this crowdsourcing to a whole new level. Once again, my name is Keith McElwain. If you like the show, click the like below to let me know. And make sure to subscribe to see next week's episode of Monday in the Millions. I'll see you next week. So the real question becomes, can we increase business? Can we create new revenue to balance the biggest debt that our global economy has ever seen, while also enhancing the standard of living of our population? In other words, can we have our cake and eat it too?